Alright, so the Wii. Growing up, I loved this console to death. It was my first home console and it had great games like Super Smash Bros. Ball and Kirby Return to Dreamland. But most importantly, I loved it because of how different it was compared to anything Nintendo had put out before. This console of course used motion controls as its main gimmick and while many people hated it, I loved it. And that's all thanks to two little games. The first one being of course Wii Sports and the other one being WarioWare Smooth Moves. Wii Sports is of course well known since it came with every Wii bundle, but WarioWare on the other hand? Well, that's a whole different story. I actually never heard anything about this game until one day I just happened to come across a video about the game and then a couple of days later I owned the game because I begged my mom to buy it for me right after I finished watching that video. So yeah, I own WarioWare Smooth Moves and it's going to be the topic of this video. WarioWare Smooth Moves came out really early in the Wii's lifespan. Just a month after the console release in America and Europe, this game hit the shelves as the fourth in the WarioWare franchise. And in my opinion, it was a really smart move of Nintendo to release this game so soon after the Wii's launch. Thanks to the Wii Remote's simple design, it can be used to simulate different kinds of movements, like playing a sport or using the thing as some sort of weapon. And with WarioWare basically going above and beyond with its fast and unique gameplay, where you constantly switch between 5 second games, combining the two was just a match made in heaven. So onto the game itself. We find Wario chasing after a small alien until he finds himself in some sort of temple where he comes across this stone Wii remote known as the Form Baton. He steals it and uses it as inspiration to make a handful of new micro games which he intends to sell and become rich. And while that is the main plot of this game, the story kinda goes all over the place. From stealing Asian treasure to some guy confessing his love to a girl he likes, this game has something for everybody in terms of its story. And in terms of its gameplay, well, it is a WarioWare game, meaning that we gotta play through those micro games Wario intended to sell. Depending on, on what game in the series you play, the micro games are either short in a genre or control scheme. In Smooth Moves case, each character introduces a new number of forms, which are simply said just different ways of holding the Wii Remote. Starting out in the game, we have to use the Wii Remote in the most basic way, by just pointing it at the TV and moving it, with sometimes having to press the big A button. But the more you play the game, the more forms you will start to unlock. From holding it like an umbrella, a handlebar and even putting the Wii Remote on the table, there are quite a lot of forms that get introduced and put into the mix of control methods we have learned so far. And while the forms might seem kinda limited in terms of what you can do with them, there's actually a whole lot of creativity put in each form. In one micro game you might have to slice a barrel in half, while in another you have to wake up Wario by slapping him in the face, or you might even have to give someone a coupon, and which is all done with the same form. It just goes to show how much effort Nintendo put in these micro games, even though they only last around 5 to 6 seconds. And I honestly would love to talk all about my favorites, but then we will be here for quite a while. So instead, I want to talk about my favorite category of micro games. Which are the retro Nintendo games provided by 9V, which is definitely a bit of an obvious answer for any Warrior fan, but come on. We got micro games about gliding with the Deco Leaf in the Wind Waker, fishing in Animal Crossing, flattening pigments as a Bulborp, and in the boss stage, we play through a small Star Fox stage where in the end, we have to fight against Rob the Robot, who we now all know from Smash Bros, but back when this game launched, Rob was just an accessory that would come with certain and NES systems, and he was also in Mario Kart Death prior to this game. By now you should have also noticed that the game's presentation is a bit funky. Well, this was an early Wii title with no widescreen support, and the graphics are also not the best, but in my opinion this is what gives the game its charm. WarioWare is known for being a series that's kinda weird and wacky, and the presentation is definitely one of the strongest aspects to why that is. And with the series jump to 3D models, I honestly think that the more unpolished and rough looking art style does one for the franchise. Of course, you also gotta keep in mind that these micro games are supposed to be created by Wario and his wacky groups of fans. And if you think about it that way, it honestly makes a whole lot of sense that the presentation is a bit wacky and unpolished. And it's definitely not gonna win any awards with its style, but it's definitely quite charming and it can definitely get a couple of chuckles out of you and whoever is close by when playing it. 
especially when you get to what is probably the best ending in video game history. And for people wondering, no, I don't have footage of me doing that dance. So, Warrior Smooth Moves. It's the kind of game that I could easily pick up and play whenever I feel like and not really get bored of it. The motion controls that are the main gimmick of this entry are definitely quite impressive, even though they can easily screw you over, but besides that, Warrior Wear Smooth Moves is a classic that I could honestly recommend to anyone that has a Wii or a Wii U. It's a fun single player game with some alright multiplayer content in the form of handing someone else the controller from time to time. It just really sucks that the Wii U and 3DS eShop are closing, meaning that it will be harder to get your hands on this game. But if you got some money left on your Wii U, I would definitely recommend grabbing this game before it's too late. Otherwise, it's back to WarioWare Get Together on the Switch, and honestly, I won't even wish that upon my worst enemy. But luckily, I still got my copy of WarioWare Smooth Move, so... I should be good to go with the whole Wii U and 3DS eShop closing.